morning everybody it is monday 12th of april i'm out of focus i think that's a bit better uh yeah i'm at work at the moment uh, that's the only day i'm working today i've got the rest of the week off to decorate jen's bedroom um so yeah i'm just gonna get this day out of the way and then enjoy my week off because i'm gonna use a roller and try and get it done quick um because i want to do some ebay um just dropped a parcel off and i want to do some I've got another one hopefully when they pay and I want to do some colouring videos for you guys. So I'm really hoping that I can get some stuff done. I will see you when I finish work. Hello everybody. She's been a monster today. But uh, we're watching Doctor Who now. She decided to watch that. I couldn't cope with any more children's TV. So I said, Doctor Who? And she went, yeah. Food on me. You got food on you. Yeah, we've just had dinner, which is very nice. So yeah. you got food so, on you um, too. Have I got food on me? Probably. Little bit. Not like you. You got it all over your chops. Look. Yeah. <laughs> but it's all good in the hood, in that watching Doctor Who, and then uh, it should be going to bed soon, won't you? And I've had three sales within the last 18 hours, which is cool for me. I've got to pack them then. I'll do that tomorrow. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. So yes, girl, I have failed on the vlog in front. However. Tomorrow I'm off and I'm going to be, God I look fat, decorating her Jennifer's bedroom with a nice uh, lemon paint which I will show you. It's not lemon, it's a bit brighter but it's not too bright. I look tired. I was going to do my current chat tonight but I was watching Torchwood season one and I just ran out of time. Well I didn't, I could still do it, I'm so tired, I'm not going to. But my plan is to do two of her walls. I'm not going to overdo it like I did last time because I really hurt my uh, uh, my hands. I'm going to use the roller to try and get a better coverage and quicker coverage. Obviously use the small brush for doing the edges and around the windows and stuff. But the big back wall, if I can get that done, with the ro most of it done with the roller and quite quickly, then hopefully I'll have a bit of time to do some filming after I've done that before I pick her up and uh, get some lunch so that's the plan obviously I'll re-show you her room I've got a lot of stuff in her room to sort out as well so some old clothes to take down to the nursery so they've got some spares for the kids when they get messy um, I put plenty of changes in Jennifer's but stuff gets left behind and and it does but yeah, that's okay so that's what the plan is for tomorrow I'm gonna just chill and um I don't know color I think just a bit before I go to sleep just to relax a bit I might listen to some music I might not I haven't decided yet but uh, yeah that's uh that was Monday it's quite a dull day it was busy at work but Mondays always are Good for the weekend. But other than that, it was okay. Yeah. I was just glad I was glad to finish. So four days off is, is nice. Um, even if I am decorating, ebaying and colouring. I do have to check a, a posted item that's not that I've just been contacted by a buyer. If it was only a cheap pair of joggers, they're saying they haven't arrived. So I've got to go get the tracking number off the website and check it just to see if it hasn't and then I'll upload that to eBay if it ha if it's saying it has been delivered and I'll say well according to the tracking I'm sorry I didn't upload it previously but here it is it has been delivered so I don't think um it's anybody taking a the mech I gotta be honest I don't so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. If it hasn't arrived then I'll happily refund that person so I was like just open an item not received so I can refund you within eBay guidelines so that's not a problem but that's it I'm gonna go now and uh, have a look at a coloring book I've got some markers I want to use up from my touch fives oh look at that it's well dark um so I'm gonna do that so I'll see you tomorrow bye good morning everybody it is uh Tuesday morning it's the 13th of April and I I'm sitting in Jennifer's room and I'm gonna be painting at least two, well, I'm going to paint two walls today, hopefully. Here's the paint. Look at that, not a nice colour. So, obviously, I'll show you what it looks like when I've got it on. I've got to give it a stir and put it... I'm going to use the rollers today. I'm going to try, anyway. I'm not very good with rollers. I just, I can't paint it by hand like I did last time. And by that, I mean with a brush, because it hurt my hand so much. I've got my Rockabilly CDs here, um, which is called... Shut it up, I'll show you it. 100 Rockabilly Greats. 
and I've also got Wanda Jackson, the Ultimate Collection here. I haven't even listened to that one, so I'll probably listen to that one next time. So I'm going to get started, and I've got a Coke up here for a drink, and then I'll let you know how it's going a bit later on, and I'll show you what it looks like. So. I want to get round the, above the window and the window area done so I can open the window and let some air in. I've got open nail now to help it dry and uh, obviously to give me some air. So I'm going to crack on. I promise I can't do around the, the blind. I might have to get Paul to take the blind down tomorrow morning so I can finish it off under there properly. But I'm going to crack on. I'll see you in a bit. That's what I've done so far. And under there. Need to take the line down to finish, excuse me. And the bottom. I'm going to start this bit now. Of course, it's going on a lot easier because of the white paint already on the wall. So, yeah. I've actually finished now. I've had a shower and stuff. So, there's white, as you can see. And here it's yellow. All this wall. I've only done these two walls. Um, as you see, this was the white because last time I overdid it and it killed me. So I'm going to do, I think I'll put all my stuff back again Thursday. So I'll give time for the brushes to dry um, and stuff. But yeah, it looks fine. Honestly, it might be no toe. I don't think it does. I think there's no touching up here and there. I don't think it needs no toe. Uh, there's some white patches where I have um, I see it looks white then, it's actually yellow. Everything looks white on here. <laughs> um, no, it's a nice colour. It'll probably look better with the light on, but no, that's white now. You see, there is one. Yeah, I'm gonna go and get Jennifer now. Have some lunch. Right, back home, sitting on a sofa watching YouTube, and I managed to turn off the children's programmes because somebody. It's falling asleep on me. She's snoring away. She's not now, but she was. I know her eyes look open, but she is actually asleep. She doesn't often sleep on me these days. She must be absolutely knackered. She's quite sweet. Uh, I think you're going to have to put the dinner on, Paul. No. And this is the recent mm -hmm. case. Ah, me too. Anyway, I got sort of a room out later as well. Oh yeah, it's quite nice. Quite relaxing. I'm watching a bit of YouTube and she's uh, snoozing away. It's nearly tea time. It's been a nice day. The room looks nice. Anyway, I'll see you a bit later. It's just gone six and she's still asleep on me. Well, she's on the sofa now to move her to go to the bathroom. Yeah. She's all cute and cuddly, all cosy. Oh, I love her all. Hey guys, just come out to do some filming. Um, hopefully. I can't talk very loud because Jennifer's still awake. It's half past nine. Because she don't want to go to sleep. No, she said she's going to now, so I'm really hoping she is. So I'll probably wait about ten minutes while I sort out my stuff and... <sighs> get it done. I want to get some sleep myself. I'm tired. Um, but yeah, she does. Because she slept this afternoon and she didn't want to go to sleep. But she, she'll be alright. So I've ordered my desk. And a couple more colouring books. And a Jack the Ripper book. Can't remember what it was called though. Can't remember it at all. I think it was Jack the Ripper locations. Not sure. By now when it gets here. I've got a, like a 10 or a 12, 13, 14 book haul of a Jack the Ripper books. At the end of the month. As well as God knows how many colouring books, including the Ava Brown, Brown, bleh, the Ava Brown PDFs. So I'm gonna try and do a bit, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll be doing some eBay. I've got a bag of non-clothing down there. I want to try and get done. I'll try and get some of that clothing done. I only want to do about two to two and a half hours on it main reason being is that I want to do other things. So, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi everybody, it's Wednesday morning. And if you think I look tired, I am. So, as you know, Jennifer fell asleep on me last night. 
which was very nice except for then when it was bedtime she didn't want to go she went out and then she came down because she was hungry so she had some food eventually went back to bed and she did eventually go to sleep and then around three o'clock half three she woke up seeing her ears were hurting she'd been oh don't ask she'd been silly um but she'd been lying on something <laughs> awkwardly uh so I sorted that out and then put her back and she was having none of it so two or three times later i thought i'm i can't i gotta sleep and um she started yelling and she was yelling for me to take her downstairs to come in here to watch peter rabbit to put the light on i put the outside the upstairs light on because she turned off her night light because she knows how to do it so she was up for about two hours and then of course as soon as i drop off and alarm going off i can hear her getting quieter and quieter i know she'll give up eventually and go to sleep it took her a while but she did say nap she was easy to get up she did not moan she was quite happy to get out of bed this morning so i think she's all right we had a nice cuddle, got her dressed, dropped her down at nursery. I've got a load of washing to put away before I start on the old eBay. I want to, I know exactly what I want to work on and I'll be showing you some of what I'm photographing as I go through it and listing. I'll be putting it into one of the big Ikea bags and I will be taking it up to the shed later because I have three orders to pack and I want to take them down to the post office when I go to pick her up so to drop them off hopefully they'll be there and I can pick up all my receipts so they get out of their way and then it's all for April it's only this one comes after tax year the new tax year so and I can do my accounts tonight that'll be enjoyable won't it whoopie doo excuse me I got such a sniff this morning so my plan is to work till around 10 half past and uh, then I want to make sure I've got enough to list today and tomorrow and possibly friday which is only 15 items and then friday hopefully as long as she sleeps all right on thursday i can bang through most of the rest of it which will be pretty much all clothing <coughs> so that's my plan but first i gotta put a load of washing away i'm gonna put youtube on in the background and see how it goes so i will check in with you when i start uh, the photographing when i got everything set up and i'll show you what i'm gonna be working on today you can see i've got my light set up and i've got some items here some xbox games that i'm bundling bag of stuff here i've just photographed this a miranda 1.9 lens f equals five it's a soligar lens i better write that in my notes i have put that in my notes um that i'm trying this i have got i found 21 items of clothing that i photographed and packed away apart from one which needs measuring um that i haven't actually listed there's another camera ready for so I need to um, I, at least that's something that takes the pressure off I can get this stuff done and some a bit of the clothing in there and see now some of that might have already been photographed but not measured but I can get to it on the camera and have a look so I'm going to work my way through that bag I've got this nice little bag by Lua. Lua I don't know it's really nice actually but it's clean inside so i'm gonna do that and get that done so i'll catch up with you in a bit i've done one 14 to go see you in a bit okay i'm not sure what time it is it is let me just have a look at my phone 20 well nearly 20 past nine so i'm on track to do what i wanted to which is great which is to finish around 10 half past so i have so far photographed 11 items mostly cameras in fact there's one two three four five six seven eight nine cameras one was had a broken battery compartment so i binned it that's fine. i'm happy to do that but that's still nine even with that one in the bin um i've got i've done one handbag and one miranda lens which i took off a broken camera so that's fine and that'll that sell for 30 or 40 quid on its own i think but i'll take offers because i'm not fast all the other cameras work so they've been tested so i got i'm gonna do four more sets of photographs um so i've got two stacks of uh, xbox games to photograph and um i'll do two bundles of five each and i just put one for a tenner because they're not worth much and i just want to get rid of them uh, and then i will go into my other bag which is stuff that needs to be measured and packed away. Um, so I'll get try and get as much of that done today as I can. 
and then on Friday which is my next eBaying day I can start photographing more clothes now I've worked out that I'll have something like 36 listings ready that I can put up with the photographs already on the camera once I get that lot measured and I know there's some stuff at the shed that's got to come back down because it fell off before I got them listed because I'm a lazy cow <laughs> so <laughs> I need to get back into it um so I'm happy, yeah, I've got uh, two lots of games and two pairs of shoes, that'll take me to 15 listings, which is, for me, if I put five listings up a day, which I'm happy doing, just to keep it ticking over, that is enough for tonight, tomorrow and Friday. And Friday I'll be doing more, although I'll already have all this measured stuff to do as well. So it's great, it's, it's going to keep me able to tick over until I can find time to do it again, which will probably be... If I can get into the habit of, other than what I'm filming, doing something like five or six items a day, I'll be all right so once I've sorted out this room and I've got I've got boxes to go up the shed and all sorts uh, my box moved and my stock in the box and my desk in I'm going to try and do six every day unless it's a day when I'm filming colouring chats or such like so tomorrow I'll be filming because there's football on and Paul will be watching it so I'm going to crack on with these games I just want to clean up my tent a bit and uh Yes, I will see you later. I'll let you know how I've got on with um, the measuring. If I can't measure it all by like 10, 10, 15, uh, then that's fine. I will just leave it and I'll do that first thing on Friday morning um, before I start photographing the next lot. So, but I want to crack on. So I will see you at the end. I'm, I'm actually excited about doing eBay again. Um, especially with, the, I mean, I've got so many cameras up the shed to get listed and it's silly. I should just grab them get them you know yeah so once I've got this room sorted out with my desk um where it's going and the box in the corner I'll bring up five or ten cameras I'll test them bin the ones that don't work and just crack on if I can't you know if it's a nice camera that's worth a bit then I'll list it as spares and repairs but I enjoy doing this I do I've forgotten how much but I do like my coloring as well so you never know. I'm not not filming tonight, so I might do a little bit more this evening. But I'm a bit tired, so I might get an early night. So we'll have to see. Anyway, I will talk to you once I have finished, and I'll let you see what I've done. See you in a bit. Okay, it is half past ten, so I've measured and and it's not focusing. But I've measured all this and put it into bags. Excuse the mess. And I've got this bag of stuff that I photographed this morning, and some boxes to go up into the shed. It's coming up to half ten. I'm knackered. I'm aching. So I've only got, I think, three items left to measure. So I'm going to stop now and I'll finish it on Friday. I might I might even do it tonight or tomorrow after I finish painting her room and I've had a shower. Um, but I have to see But I'm absolutely shattered from last night. So I'm going to put this in a bag to take up to the shed. I need to get up to the shed around... 12, I would say it gives me a good hour to put this stuff away and pack it and pack three items that I've got to sell so that's okay so I'll do that um so I'll set the alarm for around 10 to 12 because I do like to doze and that's it really I'm a little kip so I'm absolutely shattered from last night but I feel like I've done some I've got two bags of stuff one big Ikea bag to go up of mostly cameras and stuff like that and a handbag and a pair of shoes and I've got a bag of clothing to go up I've got some games to go up I know there's another pair of shoes somewhere I think it's in one of the bags I will find it at some point I've got a ton of it to go I want to get as much of it done Friday so that when my desk comes I can move the box at the that um the TV's on to where the stock goes, there's enough space for it and I can put whatever's left to be done in there. Now this battery's nearly out so I am going to call it a day, the spare's downstairs so I'll go and get it in a minute. It's not a day day, I'm not calling it a day day, I'm going to take you up the shed with me later. But I do want to have a little kip so I will see you up the shed at around 12ish. Yeah, welcome to the shed. It's been a while since I've had to put stuff away, but here it is bit of a mess so I'm gonna have a bit of a tidy up with the head down there some boxes need breaking up I got some to pack so I'll do that out here but it is yeah I'm gonna get this slot slammed away and then I'll get the stuff out that I need to pack and I'll, I'll show you what's going on
Right, I'm outside, it's a beautiful day. I've got my three items packed up. Everything's put away in the shed. I still need to sort the shed out. I'm gonna bring Jennifer out here to play. I've got a tent out so she can play hide and seek in it if she wants to and have a laugh. Beautiful afternoon, I'll bring out some colour in. I'm just gonna whack all the stuff back in the shed and then I'm gonna head off, because uh, I've gotta put some money on my drop and go account. Head off, drop it down and go and get Jennifer from the nursery. So I will see you when I get back. So I'm sitting in the garden, the sun's gone behind a load of grey clouds. I'm hoping it's not gonna rain because We've, all of us have got washing out because it was so nice earlier. Um, Jennifer is playing with her sandcastles, aren't you? Yeah, you're making it. Oh, look at you. You've been practicing at nursery. So we bought some new sand on the weekend and I've put two bags in there. Right, don't forget to put it in the tub, not on the floor. Okay. Make your sandcastle in, the, in here. Put it in here, on there. Put your, oh. And tap. Right, let's see what it comes out like. Yay! Well, it's, it's a bit dry, the sand. Huh? Shall I get some water? Come on. I'll make the sand a bit wet, shall I? Yeah. Right, give me a bucket. A bit better now, it's got some water in it. Good girl. She's got a tent there. I've got worlds of wonder. And I've got my, uh, what they called, black widows onion rings phone i am working on the title page at the moment as you can see i haven't done a lot it's just nice to sit and do a bit every now and again and i'm gonna sit out here and get a bit of fresh air for tea there good girl we're gonna do some coloring now aren't we jen yeah. you're gonna color in a rabbit yeah. pull you in a bit That's it, that's better. Good girl. You do the rabbit and I'll carry on with mine, all right? Oh, she loves her colouring, don't you, Jen? Sun's come back out now and we're still colouring. Jennifer's colouring in a rabbit, aren't you, Jen? Do you want me to get the top off? Oh, well done. That's it, drop it in the box so we know where it is for later. And I'm still working on my front page. It's a bit cloudy, but it's, it's nice when the sun comes out. Now. Right, Wednesday evening, and it's not seven o'clock yet, but you might notice that there's somebody missing. Jennifer passed out on the sofa. Well, she fell asleep. She was tired because we've been playing for ages outside in the garden. So I carried her up, put her to bed, and now it's um, no children's TV time for the rest of the evening. Fantastic. My back's aching. I'm going to do some listing in a minute. And... Yeah, just going to chill out for the evening, so I'll uh, talk to you in a little bit. Bye. Well, hello, everybody. It's it's not that late. I'll admit it is... It's ten past eight. Jennifer's in bed. She's been in bed way over an hour because uh, she fell asleep on the sofa. Carried her upstairs, put to bed, as I said. She's still asleep. Just put another blanket over her. I'm going to watch some stuff up here on... Uh... Oh, I see. Fair enough. <laughs> on the youtube i'm watching stuff on found film so it's people find film and then they develop it so it could be from the 80s or 90s noughties or earlier some of them go back to the 50s and 60s it's so basically you buy a, a camera a second hand film camera and sometimes there's a roll of film in it exposed i've actually had that with some of the stuff i bought from Cardiff city auction two years ago i um i've, I, I've developed one roll uh, film that was in a brownie and uh, yeah I've, I've every time I find a roll of film now usually it's 35 millimeter film and I don't know whether it's been used all the way or not it's hard to tell sometimes but uh, what I do is I test uh, the camera if it's got a few frames on it I shoot them off and then I rewind the film and I just dump it in a bag <laughs> mainly because of, with Jennifer it's hard for me to do developing especially colour it's very difficult um, because colour is it's, um You've really got to be spot on with it. Black and white has got a greater latitude for error, so it's not a major issue if I, for instance, if it's an old black and white film, I'm more likely to stand develop it anyway, which means you develop it for an hour and you only agitate it at the beginning. You don't, or a semi-stand, which is about a, a second agitation halfway through, you don't actually agitate it at all, like you would a normal one. So I, I can do black and white 
found film a bit more than colour, but most of the film that you find in uh, 35mm cameras is going to be colour. Uh, which is fine, I don't have a problem with that, it's fun to shoot it's, and to, to develop and see what comes out and obviously the older the better but it's most of the cameras got fairly modern so the earliest is going to be 80s I would have thought like I said the brownie was the oldest one and there are images, I don't think I've scanned them I'll have to set my scanner up sometime and, and try and get some stuff scanned I think it's because I don't have a scanner the size of the film because it's a film that is no longer made and my scanner takes 120 and 35 mils and this is something like one 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 six, not one. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. One. Yeah, I don't know. One six, I think. Um, so I can develop it because the tank's got the wherewithal to do it. But uh, yeah. So if you ever come across a old camera in a thrift shop or at home and you don't want it, let me know. I will take it off your hands. I'll buy it from you. Um, and if there's film in it, I'll develop it and let you know what I find. So I love photography. So if you do ever do that and you don't know what to do with it, you know, and if you find some nice compact cameras, wherever you are in the world, if you're in, you know, if you're in the States and you find something, if especially if it's got a film in it, pick it up. I'll give you the money back. I'll PayPal you the money quite happily. And, um, I'll develop the roll of film if it's in it. Obviously there are better cameras, so Olympus cameras are very good, early Kodaks, old Kodaks, um, not Advantix and, and not digital, just proper film cameras. 35mm, 120, 127, 116 and so on. They are 838, there's so many different uh, sizes of film. But we can make a whole video about that. Anyway, I'm going to carry on watching what I was watching, take my medication and um, chill out. <laughs> Like Jenna said, I'm really tired. It's not even dark out yet. It's getting dark, but as you can see, it's not dark. <laughs> and I'm going to chill out in this room, do a bit of colouring and watch some more uh, found films. So yeah, if you do, if, if you're in a charity shop, if you're in the UK and you find a, a cheap camera, I mean, I've picked them up for as little as a pound in some shops. You can. Um, or in the States, I'll happily pay pay you the money and the shipping cost to get it to me here in Wales and then if there's a film in it, even better. Or if you find any rolls of film in thrift shops, camera shops, uh, not camera shops, it's a second hand shops, uh, as long as it's not too pricey, pick it up and send it to me and I will happily pay pay you the money first. Don't forget, I love anything, I love the old photographs, I love history and I collect, or I have in the past, I haven't done it for a while, um, old 35mm slides, mostly coat of colour, but other ones as well, because I like social history, the people people are wearing, I've got some from the 50s and 60s, and what the people are wearing is amazing, and I must get back into it, but it's been very difficult with Jennifer, not because she's a pain, because she's not, but because she's young and she needs a lot of attention, but as she gets older, I know I'm going to be able to start doing all these little interests again, especially when she starts school and I've got more time. But I'm going to knock it on the head for tonight and I will see you tomorrow when I will be painting the last two walls in her room and actually getting my eBay stuff drafted onto eBay and listed. I haven't done it tonight, I'm too tired. Um, something I plan on doing, I, if I can get started by on eight, I don't expect it to take me two hours to do the last two walls because they're not completely full walls. One's got a radiator on it and I can't get behind it. Though we will paint behind it eventually, we'll get Dad to take it off. Um, one's got the big door on it so I'm hoping it's not going to take me too long. I will see you in the morning. I've waffled long enough. Bye guys. <clears throat> Good morning everybody. It's Thursday. It's a beautiful day outside again. The sun's out. It's a bit chilly at the moment but I'm sure it'll warm up. Later I've just had a shower. I finished painting a room. I did it. It was very quick actually. I started about quarter to nine and I was finished about ten past nine so something like that. Just after nine so quite pleased with that. And then when it's dry, we'll have a look to see if there's bits that need touching up and that can just be done ad hoc. So that's all done. Her bedding's coming today for her big bed. Paul's going to try and put it up Saturday, depending on how he feels, because he's having his... <coughs> sorry, his COVID jab Friday afternoon. So it's going to depend on, obviously, if he's feeling all right. If he's not well, he can't do it. That's fine. I don't mind. But it's painted. It looks nice. It looks... And when we put, when we put the curtains up, because they're sort of a... And they're not brown and they're not orange. They're sort of a burnt orange, I guess, is the colour. They look nice. So she wants blue ones. And I said, yes, when we can afford it, we'll get blue ones. Um, but these are lines, so they're very dark, so it keeps the sun out. But it looks very Mediterranean. They're very European. I think Mediterranean with beautiful sunny walls and these golden curtains, these auburn curtains. They just look beautiful. 
when she got her bed and she got in a dinosaur duvet cover because she wanted it and I, I showed her some and she picked that one and it was fine I haven't got a problem with that obviously a plastic sheet and a white sheet and next month I'll get another cup another sheet and another duvet cover for her so I've, I've got a spare one so I can get it changed without any hassles and get into the habit of changing all our beds every week together mine Paul's and Jen's Paul can do his I'll do mine and we'll sort of well I'll probably do Jen's I do now at the moment but it's gonna be very nice now we, we recently had somebody come around and pick up a load of tap from the garden rather than take it to tip because at the moment our tip you have to queue and wait which is impossible because some of the stuff's quite heavy so Paul has to come and of course Jennifer gets bored so she starts kicking off and it sometimes it's an hour two hour wait so rather than that we paid this bloke a local bloke named Nathan great guy lovely guy got five kids himself to come around and and take any rubbish away that you know that we can't put in the main bin so it's usually bits of wood uh, bits of furniture we don't need for instance our old computer chair or old printer you take all that it's his job you pay him he takes it away what scrap he can get out he gets out so we always make sure there's a few bits of metal in there for him so he can get some extra pennies um, we'll probably have to do that again um, once we've got rid of her cot and everything because her cot was second hand when we bought it it's a nightmare to put together I'm not going to wish that on anybody else there'll be a mattress plastic mattress um, her mattress for her new bed is coming Saturday sometime so that's good but yeah it's done and I'm really happy I feel really proud I'm starting to feel dopey now because I've stopped I'm alright as long as I keep going I've had a shower so I've all got all the paint out of my hair and off my face although my hair is so grey you wouldn't notice it apart from the fact it's bright yellow paint it's lovely colour sunrise it's called it's beautiful it's so nice mine is called my room is apricot I don't know if you can see the colour is apricot um so that's great. I've got the rest of the morning till around half twelve myself and I'll have some lunch and then I'll go and get Jen. <coughs> so I'm going to watch some YouTube once I've got my hair dry. I'm going to do some colouring and I'm just going to chill out if I, if I fall asleep. I fall asleep. There's an alarm on my phone anyway. It'll wake me up when it's uh, 10 to 12. I think it goes off. Yeah, 10 to 12. So that's fine. I don't know if I fall, if I doze off. I can fall asleep with the light on, by the way. It doesn't bother me at all. So, but yeah, so I've, I've, I'll be filming tonight something. Hopefully, it'll be, I'll be able to finish it tonight or tomorrow. Um, I think there's football on, so Paul will be watching that. So I'll sit with him for a bit, and then I'll do that that colouring on that video. I have got three items that have been photographed left to measure, so that will be done tomorrow. That'll be the first thing I do tomorrow morning, and then I'll be hitting the next bag of photo stuff. I'm gonna photo measure and pack as as it goes um, my desk is coming tomorrow so I need to clear that corner out so I can put the box there for now um, once I've got rid of some of that stuff and it's photographed that's fine I can then put the box in and then put I'm gonna put what's left of the clothing stock in there there's a bag down there I've got to sort out that some of it's rubbish but I do like to keep the buttons I'm an, I'm an old granny that way I just remember my granddad having a tin of buttons I remember it very vividly he never threw buttons out and I've always collected them since so I've got an old sweet jar somewhere just a plastic one uh, but I like them and um, it's just one of those things that I like buttons I can't help it I, I you know older new ones they're always handy to have if one you you lose so I've got a big tub of them somewhere it's not full um it'll be filling up a bit more soon but it's not full anyway that's it I'm gonna get dry, dry and dressed and uh chill out with a bit of coloring it'll probably um, I might do a bit with my ink tents because I was doing something with them. I was just laying them down on something before I activate them. I might do a bit of that. Depends. Depends how I feel. I'm feeling quite dopey. I would like to get a bit more of that done. Then there's the burlesque one I've started. Oh, I've got so many whips. I have got so many whips. And I don't care. I was at that once was one of those people who could not have a load of whips. But now I'm like, nah, whatever. Not the end of the world so yeah I am now going to poodle on off and get dry and dry my hair and I will see you a bit later hey everybody it is Thursday night I had to think then um Paul's downstairs watching football I haven't vlogged this afternoon been tired um nearly didn't pick up Jen because I fell asleep and the alarm didn't go off and um, but her 
new duvet cover came today and it came with two pillowcases i've never known a single duvet cover come with two pillowcases but uh she now has that on her even though she's still in a cot because she wanted it and she loves it very much and i'll show you why in a second i'll just turn it around um she never wanted the duvet on her before when it had Paul's <laughs> duvet cover on it. But now she's got her own duvet cover, which looks like this, with all the, the dinos on it. She absolutely loves it. And she's snuggled up in it now. If we put it, I put the duvet in it. This afternoon, I spread it out on my bed to do it. Put the thing. She got under it, she went, oh, cosy. <laughs> So she was very happy and I said I'd finished painting the room and she was like, oh goody. She was really cute and she's been good as gold this afternoon so hopefully she'll have a big bed but it does depend on Paul on Friday because tomorrow he's got his Covid jab in the afternoon so depending on if whether or not he has a reaction depends on whether or not she gets a bed up which will be on Saturday. If, it, if it's if he's not hurting it's fine and we'll put her bed up on Saturday because her mattress is coming and it can all go on and there she'll have a big bed. Oh, she's giving me And then when, when that's done and I've moved all the rubbish out and given it a tidy up properly, I'll uh, give you a quick look, see at it. So, but um, I've come up with this because like I said, Paul's watching the football. I got two books today in the mail with um, duvet covering sheets for her bed. Uh, this one, the new Jodie Taylor, another time, another place. I've started that already and another one on the Ripper which is uh, the Ripper reports Jack the Ripper and the Whitechapel murders as reported by the Victorian press so that should be quite interesting to add to the collection you will see this again when I do a rather large Jack the Ripper book haul at the end of the month because I'm not going to guarantee that uh, the one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 or 11 books I've got are it. I don't even know how many I've got. I'd have to count them. Hmm. Because I'm really not sure. Hmm. It's quite a lot. <laughs> but you know me. I love um, reading about Jack the Ripper. Um, I find it fascinating. So, yeah, it's another one to add. I'm going to tidy up my book haul in a minute because it's all over the place. I've read one of them. But but that's okay. I don't expect to read them all in one month because even I get bored reading about the same thing over and over again. But I am going to be reading Jodie Taylor because I love those. And I'm going to watch some uh, photography tube because I do love, as you know, photography. As I mentioned yesterday, um, I'm watching camera hauls now. I love watching uh, thrifted camera hauls. They're good fan, as well as developing all film. They're all great as well. Um, and I'm going to eat some of my chocolate Easter egg that's left over that I haven't finished yet because I'm not really bothered. So. I don't think we know whose eggs are what now. We just eat, we've just been eating them. I mean, Jennifer's not even bothered. So I'm not worried about that. So she'll eat them if she wants. She had a bit of one today. <sighs> Wish we could scold. She's out. She's asleep, which I'm glad. And hopefully, she'll be in a good mood tomorrow. And we can work on. I am going to pull down my Jade Summer Dinosaur for kids, but because I'm going to colour some of that in for Jennifer. The idea is that we'll cut them out of the book, put them into A4 frames, certificate frames, and put them on a wall. Um, and I again, obviously, I'll show her room while her bed when her bed's up, but it won't be 100% finished. I need to get this room tidied up tomorrow. Um, do some photography for fa for eBay even though I haven't listed anything yet I will start getting it listed soon and I will get that done and then I can't even think my brain's gone I can get my desk up which is also here so with any luck if Paul's up to it he might do that on Saturday as well which would be nice I just need to move the box excuse me anyway that's it for tonight I'm gonna knock it on the head or I've got to put some something in Jennifer's bank book it's not a bank book really, obviously it's all online, we get a statement once a year for it because it's an ISA. But I try and keep a record of approximately what's in there because I would like to know. I know I know when the ISA receipt comes in, that statement comes in. But I it's just keep track of it, so. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to go watch some YouTube and stuff and I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, it's Friday, the 16th of April. So I'm off work again today, having a day's holiday. And I'm going to do a bit of eBay in a minute because... I might as well. Plan is to measure the last three items in the bag, get them packed away, and then photograph six more items. 
<clears throat> and then when I've done those six, I can chill out and start drafting it. And I'll draft them on my phone because it's easier. And then later on, I can go put them live on the thing. I'll get as many ready and drafted as I can today. Uh, Jennifer is gone to nursery. She has gone to nursery. She's very good. She could not wait to get to bed last night because she had her, her dinosaur duvet. She loved it. She was so excited. <laughs> Never seen a, a three-year-old three so happy to get to bed. And she snuggled straight under it. She, I read the story to her. She likes every night and she, she didn't join in. She normally joins in. She was too busy being snuggled under her, her duvet and she didn't want to get out this morning. So hopefully it stays that way for a bit, but it is nice. So and she'll have a, a big bed set up soon. Oh, yes, uh, I've got a load of washing, done a load of washing this morning already. And it's out on the washing line because it's a beautiful day. So I thought, might as well get it dry. Now I've got some washing up here that needs to go down, which is probably going to hit another load so that'll go on tonight and it'll go up first thing tomorrow morning when I get up as well it doesn't save a lot of money I think they work out something like 37 pence per hour that you use your tumble dryer cost I round up to say 50 so it may it does it does save a bit of money and it always smells nice and fresh when it's been on the line so I'm going to put the tv on I've got a cup of tea I'm just going to do a bit of housekeeping and then that is um Christmas space to do the photographs uh, I'll get on with those three items and then we'll get six photographed it always was I always used to do like 10 or so but now I am figured if I can do six every day I'll be fine I've got plenty to list so if I miss a day it's not going to hurt straight away so I'm going to crack on I'll see you in a bit and let you know how I'm doing okay guys so I have done my eBay um photo in measuring and packing for the day um I measured the three that were left over from Tuesday and I photographed another six measured uh, labelled and put those into plastic bags ready to go up to the shed I'll probably take that up later I still got a ton of stuff I'm going to be moving it out of the way because uh, I need to move the box with the TV on it so I can get my new desk up this weekend uh, there's a box over there so I will be doing a little bit of moving um, stuff around today and over the weekend to get that desk up so I can use it um, both for colouring and for um, work. I, I've got my book here of all my information so I can get what I've just photographed done as well because I'm going to go backwards through the phone and do as much as I can, get them up. I will be listing five today. Hooray! Finally listing new stuff. It's been a while but I'm there now. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of back into it now so I will try and do another five or six tomorrow out of that big bag. Um, all that will happen is when I'm moving the stuff is those bags will come up on the bed. I'll move the box. What's in the box is towels. Now, obviously, we're not using them. They're in there, so I'll take them out and sort them out. And if there's any we, we need, we'll keep them and anything else can be binned. And then that stock I will put into that box um, and it'll be tidied up. And then what I'll do is when I bring some cameras up from the shed, they'll go on the top. I can also put other things on the top uh, to, to be going on with. Um, I've sorted out and tidied up my Jack the Ripper books, ready for the R Ripper haul, which I'll be filming soon. Um, I might wait till the end of the month because I might buy some more yet, because, you know, I've got, I bought 11. In the, well, I bought two last month, which I haven't hauled, and I've bought nine this month, I think. I will double check that, though, just to make sure it shouldn't be t 11, 10 or something. I don't know. I thought there was more than that. Obviously, I've got a huge stack of colouring books. I dread to think, I haven't counted them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is that eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, so I bought seventeen and I think I've got three Ava Browns as well, so about twenty colouring books, I mean I've had twenty colouring books in a haul before, um, but yeah, I still haven't ordered Luna yet, so I want to order that before the end of the month. I also have another Stephen King to order. I've ordered Stephen King for this month. It's Elevation, um, which apparently is a short, it's a novella. It's not a very long book. And next uh, month is Institute. So I'll probably go and order that one in a minute. Just simply because... Yeah, I might as well. Because um, I've got some of my money left, so I might as well order it. Um... June I've read, which was Tommy Knocker, so I don't have to read anything at all if I don't want to. 
then later and then the dark tower again i've read that i don't have to read any if i don't want to hearts and atlantis i haven't got a copy of it i have read it so i will be doing that then it's nightscapes nightmares and dreamscapes i've read that and then different seasons and i've read that however she's also put uh, the regulators in as a possible alternate so i haven't read that so i might read that one i might read lissy's story i think it's called uh, the month of tommy knockers end of watch is the one i'm looking forward to because i've read the other two and i don't have to read any of them i can have two months off because obviously i've got the backman books that i'm reading which is the running man and roadwork which i'm working my way through i'm not enjoying that one as much as most of them i think it's because i'm looking forward to the running man anyway so i've been watching missy the binge reader this morning so go check out her channel if you're interested in books because she's really good and i know i'm going to watch another booktuber i love which is steve donahue i'm just going to catch up on some of his videos while i am drafting my listings i'm not going to draft them all today but i am going to draft a good as, as many as i can and i'm half this is how much of the book i've read of uh, just uh, another time another place I'm that way through at the moment. I'm enjoying that. So, mm -hmm. I am colouring. I haven't coloured as much this month, but last month was a normal, normal, anomaly. But I will see you later. I'm going to get on with this drafting. Hey guys, I am. It is Friday afternoon, and I'm at Newbridge Leisure Centre because Paul's having his first COVID jab this evening. So he's gone in. We're just waiting for our Jennifer. I just want to sleep too sweet such a sweet child she had a busy day mind so i don't mind having a thing all right stop off and get some chips on the way home i've got some money well paul's left his wallet at home but i've got my purse and my um cash card so we can get some money out so that's fine because uh some of the places don't take cards so yep just waiting for press it off just waiting in the car for him hopefully he won't be too long and uh, we can get off and enjoy the weekend see you in a bit guys it's quarter to eight at night near enough jennifer's in bed she actually came up went up to bed on her own then came back down then went back up i think she just wants to be in a lovely dinosaur bed in she, she loves it so much she wanted to go in as soon as she finished nursery to be fair paul's gone to to bed he's been hit with covid fatigue from his vaccine same as what I had, other the AstraZeneca vaccine makes it makes you can make you extremely tired, and he he feels like he's walking in treacle. I said yes, but it feels like it's hit your head's heavy everything. So I've come up to watch some YouTube so I can keep an eye on her and him, uh, mainly because she's muttering to herself and watch a bit of YouTube and do a bit of colouring. I kind of lost a bit of, a bit a bit of colouring mojo, not a lot. It's not that I don't want to colour, it's just I can't decide what to colour. So I've got a few up here and I'm going to have a look at them and I'm going to decide what to colour next. And I will definitely be seeing you in the morning. Hopefully we'll be putting her bed up as long as Paul feels better. Which is exciting. I can't wait. It's going to be so nice for her. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. And um, take care and we'll see what happens over the weekend. My week's gone so fast. Morning everybody, it is Saturday. My hair's done because Jennifer wanted to play with it and then she stopped. Um, she got me up at seven o'clock this morning, which isn't too bad. I slept all right and she slept very well. So Paul's upstairs putting on her, um, putting up her bed ready because her mattress is coming this afternoon. Very exciting. And now she's gonna moan because the adverts have come on. Hang on. A dinosaur. Oh, it's a dinosaur. You'll want to watch that then, won't you? <laughs> she's obsessed with dinosaurs. They all say it at nursery as well. So we're just watching some TV. There's not enough room for two of us in the room. It would be three of us because Jennifer would want to be in the room. Adsters, yes, I know. Uh, so uh, we're down here watching YouTube children's stuff. And uh, it's nice out. Might go and sit in the garden later. We'll play the garden later, Jen? We will. Um, make your bed? Yeah? Nice big bed? We go. That's it really, just chilling, had a sale, so that's good. So fingers crossed. We'll get that out on Monday and uh, yeah, we're just relaxing. Um I'm playing on my phone while she watches this. What a day. Um Paul's just gone down the shop at the moment. We've been really busy today. We've put up her bed, we've put up a small desk for me. 
we're all shattered. Jennifer's gone to bed. It's not even seven o'clock. She decided because I think she just wants to curl up in her bed. And I could hear her chatting a minute ago. So I'll, I'll show you all that when I go up in a bit to check on her, so you can see what's going on. I've got to get a chair in my room. It's in Paul's room at the moment. Um, yeah, it's nice. It looks good. Tomorrow I'll check check my work laptop's connection to the internet upstairs properly and going through to the surface and make sure it's all all right but yeah we're all knackered I don't, i'm surprised paul even managed to get up go down the road because he's absolutely shattered he's done her bed and the desk because i had to keep her entertained i've been sorting out the rubbish in my room and all gonna uh, my stock and stuff which is now done so it's a lot tidier up there i've still got a bit to do later i'm just Flipping knackered, I'm covered in stickers as well for some reason. I'm reading uh, Stephen King's Elevation and I'm actually very near the end because the story itself is only 132 pages long, so it's really, this is so small for Stephen King, I can't believe it. So I'm, I'm just enjoying that and just uh, relaxing while he's down the road. I'm gonna have a beer in a minute. So I'll show you what we've done later and if it's not too dark, I'll just peek through Jennifer's door. Hi, I've come upstairs, it's, it's Saturday night. Now, I'm not gonna show you Jennifer's room, it's a bit dark and she's sound asleep, I don't want to disturb her, but I will show you soon. But I did want to show you my little desk. As you can see, the only thing on it at the moment is the TV, which in a minute I'm going to check to see if it's actually still working properly because obviously it's been moved around. And I'm going to move a few bits there that are down the side of the bed. So I'll show you it again in a minute. Well, the TV is still working, which is great. It's connected to the internet correctly. Tomorrow I'll be uh, checking. Um, um, I think it was called uh, my computer for work up here just to see um, and if so then I'll be all set up for work on Monday morning I have a nice little desk as you can see there's a little plinth at the bottom as well as when the TV's on so this room is still a bit of a mess that is all my stock now is in that um, box there and in those two bags there other than the cameras I need to sort out this bookcase it's a right mess where I've got my Marion scrapbook stuff. That's my Jack the Ripper book haul. There's DVDs over here. And then, of course, these are my coloring books. Most of them, not all, because I've got another shelf of unused books. Um, and this one, Marion shelf, as you see, just uh, there at the bottom. Bin bag with rubbish in it, because I haven't finished yet. I can do some more now. And then there's a lovely Marilyn picture by Milton Green. Some more colouring books and colouring stuff upstairs. Jack the Ripper books. Shelf of DVDs and random rubbish. More books, more books, more books. Colouring stuff and more books. And this is mostly Hollywood stuff here and some random books. Miss Judy. Mostly Judy on that shelf. It's Judy. There's a... Who's that? It's like, there's a Cary Grant book there. I don't think that's staying there. That's just there for now while I saw out the shelves. And then Rudolph Valentino. At the top we've got Radnam books. And then... Uh, Jean Harlow. More Judy. There's more Judy down here. Is it here? No, it's on the next one. Random stuff. And the one you can't really see is where the tall books are, so I've got to sort that out. But uh, I'll be doing some of that now. Um, Victorian Scandals by Michelle Morgan. Vivian Meyer. I have so many different interests. So I'm going to start clearing up down the side of that bed. It's mostly colouring supplies and stuff, which I'm going to put on the little shelf underneath the table. And then I'll show you that. So I'll see you in a bit. Sunday morning. And of course in my bed. She fell out of it and started crying, so I picked her up and brought her in here. She's just gone back to sleep. Poor thing. She did alright all night, she just fell out. At the end of the day, in the night. She's still tired though, bless her. It's a lovely Sunday afternoon and we're in the garden. I've got an camera. order packed. No, you're not having a camera. I want this little one. Want the yellow one? The yellow one. My Diana F plus. So we've been. I done the shopping, haven't we? All that stuff. It does work. It does work. Let me show you. Come here. 
Jennifer was playing with my camera, but now she's uh, eating crisps, aren't you? It's a moon. It's a moon? It looks like a moon. It's in my mouth. Is it in your mouth? Where does it go after your mouth? It's in my tummy. It's in your tummy. That's a good girl. Mm -hmm. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh, such a lovely... Yes, it's a lovely day. I can't find the pencil I was using in um, World of Wonder. I can't remember what shade of grey it was. I think it's missing. I've got lots Mommy, and lots look. of... I can't see. Where is it? Oh, yeah. It's an aeroplane. I know there's one missing. Oh, hang on. Look at this one. Is it going to Jurassic Park, is it? There it is. Going that way. Apparently Jurassic Park's that way. <laughs> you love Jurassic Park, don't you? Love dinosaurs. You scared of the dinosaurs? No, I'm no. not. Good, Good girl. Right answer. You're scared. Oh, I'm terrified. You're not. You're scared. But you're not. But you're not. That's the main thing. Sunday evening. End of the week. I've had a lovely week off, even though I've been photographing and even though I haven't listed. I've lost my pink book again. God knows where it's gone. It'll turn up. I've been photographing. I've been colouring. Painting Jennifer's bedroom. Took Paul for his inoculation, which he had. Um, sorted Jennifer's room out. It's been a good but busy week. I've really loved it. So I've got my desk ready, set up for tomorrow. As you can see, there's my my work laptop, my headset and a mouse, my TV which is filthy as you can see I'm going to clean it and I just want to show you something. So there's the remnants of Jennifer's cot which we've got to take downstairs, her mattress, there she is, sound asleep. Bless her cotton socks. So, let me just turn this light off. Here we are. You see the Hoover's still up here from when I was like, now all my, all my Marilyn books and all the books, all those books up there are ones I have not yet read. So I'm actually gonna sit in bed and see what the TV's like. Oh, there's all my perfumes up there. Look, I've got a lot of perfume. <laughs> so uh, I've got some bags of colouring stuff that I've just brought up and, oh God, my feet are all. I'm gonna sort them out. I've brought my laptop up so I can edit this together for tomorrow ready. Um, and I'm going to watch some YouTube. It's only half past eight. It's not late. Paul's gone to bed in the other room, so I thought I'd come in here, set my laptop up, make sure it's all working, which it is, and I'm going to just try and uh, watch some YouTube. I don't like sitting downstairs on my own. I've got some water here um, and some stuff. And I'm just going to chill, put this colour and stuff away as much as I can. And uh, yeah, I might read a bit, a bit more of uh, another time of the place, a bit more of the Marilyn book I'm reading. It's just, it's just about her films at the moment. And well, I know all about her films. So I'm just reading, I'm not reading the synopsis because I've seen every single film she's ever made. I'm just reading the behind the scenes because there's usually some trivia there. Some, what they said about it and things like that. And then a re what, they, what he thinks of it. And that's it. So I'm going to call it a night. What a busy week. It's been a great week. The weather's improving. Like I said, I sat outside, to, as you saw today. If it's like that tomorrow, I'll be putting washing out because I've got washing on. Joys. But yeah, no, I'm happy Jennifer's got her bed up. She loves her room. She loves her bed. It's been a long time coming for her. She's so happy. It's nice. It's so nice. So I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for joining me on this week. And yes, I'll see you soon. Bye.